It's on fire. What'd you think? <laughs> you feel that? So it'll keep it level oh, for you. Real quiet. An hour before the general public with our VIP tickets. <laughs> what caliber was that? Nine millimeter. Ah. Wow. For a heavy rifle. The M14 is pretty weak. No, I want to do the heavy one. All right. Predominantly the Australians. It's a 223. It's basically the Australian version of our current military rifle. <laughs> okay. What did, what did you do your class? AR, Browning Automatic Rifle. Nice. And what are we shooting next? Scar 16. Oh, the scars are sweet. I've seen them. I haven't shot one yet. Can you tell me a little bit about This is essentially what we used to carry, uh, which was an M4. This is just a modernized version of it. It does pretty much the same thing. Are you military? I used to be. Thank you for your service. It was just a job. Depending on the mag, you kind of have to on auto and ready to go. Take a step forward for me. There we go. How'd it feel? That was just smooth. Yeah, okay. different yeah. than the big heavy uh, yes. World War II <laughs> Yes. It was uh, much lighter. It felt like I had much more control. I think I was also a little bit comfortable, more comfortable. <laughs> Always a good time. All right, let's see what's next. We're here at Dragon Man's Rocky Mountain Range Day. What are we gonna go shoot fish? Tell me about the 50 this gun. caliber machine gun. 50 been around since gun. World War One. It is the uh, biggest killer of everything from a uh, vehicle on up. Awesome. Let's really? check it out. You're good to go, ma'am. <laughs> that was that was ten rounds of some very heavy. I I can understand ammunition. how that handles vehicles on up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes straight through a car, uh, yes. front to back. So, no doubt. Better the top of the bar, so a couple of these fifty cals I thought would be sweet. Always fun to shoot suppressed. Yeah, it's super quiet. Bang, no bang. Look at that coating. So, you'll get rounds or so or seven rounds. Okay. Actually, no, that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let you hold the safety up whenever you're ready to fire. So, we'll just push this down. There you go. Colorado Low. Phoenix Weaponry. Actual tanks, and they'll use sim rounds and shoot them out at you. Got a military museum tour starting now. This is a big enough group, I'm going to need you guys to be my eyes on this. Um, before we get started. That's what took out our last 13 service members. Firearms, that goes crazy in here. Yeah. <laughs> Concentration camp, Auschwitz, Dachau. These are they were killing and burning 4,000 bodies. That's uh, 28,000 a week. And that's what got the Americans into World War II. Unfortunately, 3,478 young civilians, Marines, and sailors died that one day. Uh, we got a picture over here, the second picture on the show cap.
carburetor gets higher than the gas tank, there's no more gravity feed. In I've never seen anything like this. That was the coolest museum tour I've ever been on. Yeah, I mean, this is like Smithsonian. It's better. That was awesome. Check out Dragon Man's. Yeah. Come down, take the museum tour. It's worth it. Yeah, it's... In conclusion of a great event yesterday over at Rocky Mountain Range Day, if you've been following us at J-Rock, weekly check out the weekly newsletter we've got discounts open tabs happenings in boulder county and all over this beautiful state of colorado uh thank you dragon mans uh out of colorado springs for hosting such a great a great space um and then swamp fox swamp fox optics they're an optics provider based out of inglewood colorado so if you want to shop local my pro 2a friends check it out this shirt was free the hat was free it was included with our tickets uh, it was a great time i've never done airsoft so that was really fun to get on the field there spider co knives was there doing some knife throwing there was axe throwing um there was uh some political information for some upcoming ballot measures as well uh for those that are following that stuff doesn't matter which uh what side of the fence you're on just make sure you guys are going out and voting um it is our right here in the united states and uh you know, i feel like if you don't use it you lose it uh, same way i feel about carrying a firearm so anyway fantastic fantastic event if you haven't gone i'm i'm already looking forward to next year uh, my wife jamie enjoyed it um and thanks for checking out our videos and if you're not already subscribed to j-rock weekly do check out the newsletter. There'll be a link somewhere in the description to learn more about what's going on in Colorado, what Rocco's up to these days, and of course, uh, if there's any way we can help you in real estate. Uh, this is Rocco signing off. See you at Rocky Mountain Range Day 2025. Like I said, I'm already looking forward to it. It was a great, great event.